Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I didn't think I was going to be doing another one of these so quickly, but Mojab is prolific during the holy month. There was a pipsqueak. There was a scumbag in Norway. Him and his group were burning the Quran every single week. To be fair, energy prices have been rising an awful lot since the war in Ukraine, and it does get cold in Norway. With the permission, not only that, but the protection of the Norwegian government. Yeah, that's called freedom of speech, mate. The same freedom that allows you to act and speak in all the obnoxious ways that you've done over the years. We might not like or agree with everything another person does or says, but that price is a hell of a lot better than the one we would pay by living in a kind of authoritarian Sharia nightmare that you advocate for. In fact, our proud sponsors and friends, Islamnet. Hmm, Islam.net. You seem to be on half of their videos. Just volunteering or are you thinking of moving to Norway? We can start a GoFundMe for your plane ticket if that's the case. Have told us themselves that they were being harassed by this group. Do you see this banner stating Oslo Jihad Center? We have alhamdulillah purchased this huge property to establish a masjid and community center for the Muslims in Norway. And today, subhanallah, we found this banner put up by a Norwegian extremist anti-Muslim group. Well, if there's any evidence for that claim, that would certainly be something I would condemn. Known for burning the Quran and wanting to deport Muslims from the country. This individual, Lars Thorn, who is burning the Quran thinking that the Muslim community is somehow scared of him or something, or that this has an impact. It seems to have had an impact on you as you're making this video, but I do wonder why you were giving oxygen to a tiny fringe group who barely anyone has heard of. The Quran even tells us this, I mean, quite frankly, itself. It says, That do not let those individuals who are, who are running and chasing this belief upset you, O Muhammad They will not harm Allah in the least. If it's not going to harm Allah in the least, why are you about to shit your pants over it? You read Allah. That Allah wants them to have no portion of the hereafter And they have a very painful punishment Like going clothes shopping with you for the rest of eternity? I'm no sartorial expert but that pink t-shirt is not working for you pal Now these individuals who are attacking the religion of Islam are just one part of the bigger problem. The bigger problem that we saw some years ago created this monster Anders Breivik who killed 77 people in cold blood who's now demanding more kind of privileges in his cell. Because Muslim prisoners never demand or receive special rights around prayer time and halal food, do they, Mo? That the Norwegian government only gave a slap on the wrist. He got sentenced to 21 years in prison. You might think that is light on account of his terrible crimes, but it is the maximum allowed under Norwegian law. But I have a challenge for this individual, that I will educate him. It's not even a challenge, it's something for him. I will educate him on a Zoom meeting, I have a discussion with him. Maybe something like this, maybe this is a challenge that you would uh, accept. Never a chance missed to beg for a debate, but you're going to have to throw in some insults and anger to make it a full rage beg. Because at the end of the day, who do you think you are to, tr to try and burn the Qur'an in this manner? Yeah? You think you're a big man, yeah? You're nothing, brother. Yeah? You're nothing. You and your organization, you try and uh, harass our brothers at Islamnet. Well, I'll tell you what, Islamnet, and I know this because I'm in contact with the brothers, are now building a masjid and dawah center tangible assets that the ummah can see the money is going in the right places and the more you do what you do the more we'll do what we do which is we will raise money more and more money to expand this project and in fact for every quran that you try and burn we'll raise a hundred thousand euros yes hundred thousand hundred thousand euros you will that's quite a money spinner it sounds like setting a quran on fire is going to be bigger than bitcoin so since you think Quran burning is helping your efforts to raise money to build your propaganda, I mean, Darwa Center, are you saying you want him to continue doing it? And so my call to action to the Muslim community is this. We must make sure that Islam is strong 
and Aziz is mighty in every part of the world. And so this Dawah project makes sure in this holy month, this holy month, in these holy days of Ramadan that we do as much as we can, make sure that you click on the link below and you donate as much as you can. Put as much as you can into the matter because this might not, this opportunity might not come knocking again. Oh, this opportunity will come knocking every day until the end of Ramadan, Mo. It doesn't matter what the topic is. You're going to demand that the only response is to donate money to your Dawa project, or at least that of your associates. As long as you get people riled up over nothing by dramatically raising your voice in the middle of sentences for no fucking reason, these opportunities for donations will never end.